It is down to the wire for the New York governor's race, and with just three days to go before the election, Kathy Hochul and Lee Zeldin are making their final pitches. CBS 2's Christina Fan joins us live from outside a voting center on the west side. And Christina, how are early voting numbers looking right now? Well, good morning, Cindy. This is the last weekend for early voting in New York City, and voter turnout has been fairly low, only about 280,000 voters. And it is why candidates have a number of campaign events this weekend, hoping to galvanize voters to the polls. Democrats are trying to stave off major losses this midterm election across the country. That includes in New York, with close congressional races and a tightening battle for governor, where Kathy Hochul and Lee Zeldin continue to trade jabs. Stop lying. Stop lying about it. Stop trying to pretend that you're tough on crime when you're in reality soft on guns. Right now, Kathy Hochul and her supporters are threatened by this conversation about having safer streets. Why is that? The two will campaign to the wire, with Hochul bringing out the big hitters this weekend, Bill Clinton Saturday and President Biden on Sunday, in hopes of propping up her campaign. They've done a terrible job of messaging on crime, a terrible job of messaging on the economy. Political analyst David Birdsell says the governor hopes she survives with a quick pivot to those issues. It may be enough to forestall a Zeldin victory, but it will not be enough to, to forestall an election that should be nowhere near as close as this one will be. And looking forward to 2024. Get ready, that's all I'm telling you very soon. Get ready. Donald Trump is back, or at least showing major signs that he may throw his MAGA hat back into the ring. In order to make our country successful and safe and glorious, I will very, very, very probably do it again, okay? okay. CBS News has learned Trump has told aides and donors in recent days that he could announce a presidential bid in less than two weeks. I think the president... Um, has made up his mind that he is going to run in 2024. And Hochul's rally with President Clinton will be in downtown Brooklyn today. Tomorrow she will be joined by President Biden up in Yonkers. As for Lee Zeldin, he also has a packed weekend with lots of visits in upstate New York, including stops in Buffalo and Syracuse. We're live on the West Side. Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you.